Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Josh, and you going down this side or over there? Okay, because I want to stay right with right behind you. And that water feels fantastic. Huh? That water feels fantastic. There's no big rabbits, this is a little this is a good float ship, right? Yeah, we did this well, years ago. If I get tired of either yeah, tube. You can always hop in the back. No, I can I, tell you. No, if I get tired of the inner tube, I usually clap out and just float the damn life. Oh, gotcha. Oh, some current going right here. <laughs> That's the part that sucks. Oh, my. Uh oh, my freaking word just go. Freaking word. Right? Yeah. Current's a little stronger than I thought it was going to be. I have to get on that side. Freaking word. Get back in there. Okay. I'm getting on the freaking side. Oh, that was beautiful out. What a gorgeous day. Hey, coming through. Justin, I don't want to hit you. The last thing I want to do. <laughs> Kidding me? The current's going a little better than I thought it was stronger than I thought it would. Well, we know for next time then, right? Yeah. Hopefully, next time I'll have the, the dolly. It'd be a whole lot easier. Yeah. I found another one that should fit. Welcome to another edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host, John Leach. Behind me is Justin Boyer. Back there is Robert Moeller. He's doing a kayak trip down the Skokka River. Hopefully, gonna catch a bunch of smallmouth. Oh, more rapids coming. Using a red rig. Yeah. That's what I gotta do. I'm gonna try it this time. Uh, yeah, I mean, you guys are out fishing like 10 to 1 last time. Start fishing. It is a gorgeous day. It's a Saturday. All right, let's, let's make a cast here. First cast on this float trip. Let's see if we can pull a smallmouth out. Yeah, 
it is gorgeous out. How deep is it here? Three feet. Oh, fish on, fish on. I think he came off. I had one on. I freaking had one on, man. Yeah, look at that. See that? He short struck it. Probably a rock bass. I'm notorious for that. There we go. Got a fish on. See these things big. Fish on. Oh, it came off. Oh, he's still, he's still, he's still on. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, <laughs> that was hilarious. I hope the camera caught that. I think it was like three inches. That was hilarious. <laughs> Skunks out of the boat with a three inch small mouth. That's a shopping cart. That's hilarious. Eat some groceries from the Schuylkill River. Look at that. Grocery cart right in the middle of Schuylkill River. Get some fresh fish. <laughs> Let's see if there's a fish by it. Must be a smallmouth right behind it. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. I got something on. Oh, that was a rock bass or something. Something's on. Oh, something's on. Fish on. There was a fish behind that shopping cart. Oh, he came off. <laughs> hey, Justin. There's fish behind the shopping cart. <laughs> Freaking hilarious. I wish I would have landed him. Oh, there's a little guy smallmouth chasing it. Little guy. I wish I would have landed that one behind the shopping cart. It was a decent size. It was seriously sitting right behind it. That's hilarious. I see there's a swamp behind that rock right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it came off. I'm getting hits like crazy. They keep short striking. They love sitting behind those rocks, man. I had so many fish hit this lure already. I wonder if I should like trim it. That's what Michael did last time we did a float trip. He trimmed it and he caught more fish. I wonder if this thing's too long for him. I think I'm gonna trim it. How much as I hate to do that? Uh well maybe. I don't know if I can cut that or not. I'm gonna try trimming it. Michael did that and he caught more fish that way. So we're gonna try that. I hate to ruin a good Ned rig, but they keep short striking it. There we go. Alright, I hate doing this, but I, kept, I cut it because they kept short striking. I think I have a better hookup in this ratio now. That's what Michael did, Justin's son Michael Boyer. He did a float trip on the inner tube. I'll link the description of that video on the bottom, and he cut his like that. He started catching fish after fish after fish, all because he cut the Ned rig. So let's see. That makes a difference for me. Because I had a lot of fish on it came off already. They're not hooking up. Let's see if that makes a difference. If not, I have more my, back there in my tackle box, so I can always just put another one on if this don't work. But I have a funny feeling it's gonna. It is absolutely gorgeous out there. We go. Oh, that was a, I don't know if that was a rocker. That's a hit. a fish. Fish. Fish on. There we go. There we go. See, I'm glad I cut it. He, he hooked up. See, this is what Michael did. Ooh, look at that. Sunfish. Looks like a bluegill. Is it a red breast or a bluegill? I'm thinking a bluegill. All right. That's fish number two in the boat. Little sunfish catching me. Thanks for the fight, buddy. I enjoyed it. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. He swam off. He's good. See, I cut that Ned rig. Look at the difference that made already. He would have never got that other bigger one in his mouth. No way. All right. That's two fish now. I should have had over five fish already. We've only been here like 10, 15 minutes. Oh, there's a hit. There we go. Fish on. Oh, yeah. I came off with a small mouth. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad I made that modification. That definitely did the trick. Dude, they're loving this lure, man. This is fantastic.
This nut rig works awesome on the river. I've had so many hits on it already. A lot of short strikes. A lot of them that got off, but hey. There we go. Fish on. There we go. Stay peg, baby. Stay peg. It's a small mouth, too. Yes! <laughs> I'll take them all day long, man. Beats getting skunked. Ow! He just poked me. I guess you're a little upset about the hook in your mouth, aren't you? It's a dinker, but you know what? Look how healthy and beautiful this is. That's a good sign of a good fishery and a good clean river. Look at that. He's healthy and beautiful. That's what I love to see, man. They're, they're breeding. They're spawning. Well, they're done spawning now, but that's a good sign of a good, healthy, clean river, man. That's what I like to see. Oh, this is fantastic. I don't know if I'll get any big ones today. I might just go for numbers. Fish on. Back-to-back <laughs> -back cast, man. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. Dude, I'm loving this Ned Rig, man. This thing is, I'm loving this Ned Rig. Look at that. Let her know how healthy. I'm catching dinks, but at least I'm catching fish, and they're so healthy in here. Loving that. Good sign of a good fishery. I think we'll just go for numbers today. Catch some big ones would be awesome, but I'm just glad to be, I'm just glad to be catching fish. Boy, that my little modification of that Ned Rig made all the difference. What a difference that made. I don't know what they think it is. I don't know if they think it's a crayfish or a grub or what they think it is. But they're inhaling it. That's all that matters. It's fantastic. I have to get out here somewhere and wait for these guys. I went too far ahead of them. How you ladies doing? What's that? I caught a fish right behind it. Yeah, there's a fish hiding behind there. I got it on video too, it's hilarious. <laughs> well, if I don't see you again, have a good day. Do you see my buddies up there? Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, that's a good question. We launched right there up at the Hamburg Park. Uh, and we're going down to uh, Fisher Dam. So I don't know where we're at right now, but that's where we're ending at. Three hours. Three hours. Yeah. Dude, this water feels so fantastic. It's so refreshing. Look how clear it is, too. I'm loving it. You want me to grab you and pull you over? <laughs> You're moving pretty quick, man. I know. Like, I'm flying. I, I know. You're moving like crazy. I should have left the air out. More air, but I'm flying. I did a float trip with Michael and Justin like about a month ago. Yeah. And Michael was using a Ned Rig and he was out fishing me like 10 to 1. And he was using a Ned Rig, but he cut his. Here, I'll show you what I did. I'll wait here for you. Yeah, that's what I figured. So look, I'll show you something. This is oh. this. Oops, hold on, I want to hook you. It's all right. Oh, one of them. But things. yeah, so here, this is how it normally is. Yeah. And they kept short striking it, so I cut oh, it. Michael, is that what you're Michael doing? cut his, and he was catching fish after fish, and now I just I'm catching them like crazy too I now. One of them, so I'm gonna cut it. Dude, it works like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I think I have one in here. What? Yeah, I got all different kinds. I caught a. So, oh, you're gonna get okay, your tube. <laughs> Justin, come over here quick. Dude, that Ned Rig's working like you wouldn't believe. I, I, I did what Michael did and cut it, and it works even better. I had two nice ones on, they short struck it, they came off. I had a bunch of small ones on, kept coming off, until so I cut it like Michael did. I started landing in them. I think I caught like, I landed like five fish already. Yeah, it is. Dude, he was booking through here. I had to run over and grab him. What is that? Is that a lure? Is that, oh, that's a dead fish. I think that's a dead fish. Dude, I'm loving this Ned Rig. No. I don't know what it is, what they like about it. I don't know if they think it's a grub or a crayfish or what. They must think it's like a grub or something.
I got orange and black in that chartreuse and black. Yeah. Yeah, I got a couple different colors. Look, I got, I got one, I just had a little one chasing it. Yeah. Yeah, I have a little one chasing it too. <laughs> <laughs> Are we good to go? Yeah, 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 we're just waiting for you to go by. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. No it's all good. good yeah. Thanks. Hello, how are you? Yeah, how are you? Good. You got one on. Get the heck out. That's a nice one, too. That, dude, that's a nice one. It is a fall fish. It sure looks like it. That's a nice fall fish, dude. Dude, we're gonna measure him quick. Land here. We're gonna measure him. What is it? It's a fall fish. Look at the size of that sucker. Get, get him landed. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> Come on, Justin, grab him. Here, get him on here. Here you go. Look at the size of that thing. I haven't seen a fall fish that big in a long time. I want some out of the meat creek this time. On a net rig yet. Yeah, I know. I was casting here like two, two three times before he casted there. What's up with that? You need know, pliers? Here. Oh, that's a cool color. It's like a copper color. Yeah. There you go. I want to see what he measures. I bet he's close to 12, if not bigger. He's got to be at least, at least 12. I think he's more than 12. Whoa! <laughs> Slippery sucker! <laughs> that's hilarious. Bloopers video. Dude, he's like 15. 15 inches. Wow, nice, dude. 15 inch fall fish. Get your, get your fish blood off my ruler. I know, I got fish. <laughs> yeah, my pliers. You didn't drop those in the water, did you? No. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, we dropped them. Even <laughs> you got another one on. Fucking pop his inner <laughs> That was cool. I got that on video, too. That was cool. Another one. Stop catching all my fish, man. That's all that matters. Hey. Can't beat free. You got one on. Yeah, look, it's white. Nice. <laughs> Good job, bro. They like that white thing. All right, nobody got skunk, Justin. Robert just caught one. Fish on. Stay pegged, baby. Stay pegged. Come on, come on, come on. He's fighting good, dude. Fight, look at that current man, it feels like a giant. <laughs> look how small he is. I thought he was bigger than that. That was all because of that current. I love the way these smallmouth fight. So fantastic. It's been a long time since I had this much fun fishing, man. Like on the, on the river like this. We're not fun at Conalingo, don't get me wrong, but I mean like a float trip. I miss this. You can't beat beat it. Yeah, you'll probably catch a bigger one. I'm, I'm just going for numbers right now. I don't care. If I catch a big one, awesome. But I'm just happy to be catching fish. I was at, oh, oh, fish on. Yeah, I figured there's something. I was at Hopewell on Monday because I had PTO. Yeah. And uh, all I caught was uh, a 12 and a half inch bass. That was it. I went to Scott's Run's Lake first and it was, a, it was all chocolate milk. So I went to hope well it was cleaner, but the fishing was tough. Thanks for the fight, buddy. Let's see if there's any over there. There we go. Oh, fish on. Yeah. There's fish on both sides of this river. Oh, it came off. That's like a decent one, too. <laughs> oh, I wish I had that on video. Oh, fish on! Yeah, baby! Oh, that's a decent one. He's pulling drag. <laughs> uh, he's bigger than I thought, but I'll still take him. Fantastic! Get in the kayak! <laughs>
Oh, this is fantastic. They're getting bigger. Ain't no trophy, but they're getting bigger. Smallmouth bass, catch and release. I ain't catching big ones, but I'm catching numbers. Yeah, he was half decent. He was about 10, 11 inches. Grab it, grab it. I see it was one following it. Come on, grab it. Grab it. Come on, man. Oh, there's two of them following it. Come on, grab it. <laughs> I just had two of them chase it. What's up with that? There we go, fish on. <laughs> I see them hit it. I see them hit it. That was so cool. Get in the cock. Ooh, another sunfish. Look at that. The red breast. Oh, I hooked him in the right near the eye box. I don't want to do that. I'll hold him. Look at that. Beautiful sunfish. You can be a good fight for a little su sunfish. Hear more rapids coming. Don't want to catch another fish before the rapids. Come on. There we go, fish on. That was quick. Back to back cast. Oh, it came off. Oh, come on. That was back to back cast, too. Let's try again. Come on, fish. I feel like you hit unless it was a rock. There we go, fish on. There we go. <laughs> Three back-to-back -back casts, man. Do they fight so hard in that current? It doesn't get a monster on it. It's just a little fish. It's just a little guy, but that current makes him feel like he's so much bigger. Uh, I haven't done float trips in years. It's the only second one of this year. Man, I miss doing this. We used to do this years ago before I had a video camera. Back in the early 2000s. Wish I had a video camera back then. We used to catch so many fish back in the day. I think they're more on the side than out in the middle. It seems like they're on the on the right or left side of the river. There's some in the middle, but there we go, fish on. <laughs> Love it. Oh, he came off. I had one on. There's probably another one over there, I bet. Watch. Probably one right there. Come on. There we go. Oh, I felt him hit it too. Short struck it. There we go, fish on. <laughs> oh, he came off. A short strike in the end of the little Ned rig. What the heck? All right, I got hung up on a rock, but it's a good thing because I had to change my battery. My battery died. I want to put my glasses in my lunchbox so I don't lose my glasses. And I'm gonna wait for Robert and I'm gonna wait for Robert and uh, Justin. I'm getting too far ahead of him again. I'm gonna rock my fair miles away for you guys. Robert should have came down this side. Ah, uh, we'll see. It's a lot rockier over there. <laughs> see ya, Robert. I suppose you didn't catch a fish right behind the for the rapids. Look at Robert. Yeah, I maybe mean, did. That's a good thing he did go outside. That's hilarious. The current's pretty strong right here. I oh, know. I'll catch them real quick. Right after those rapids, looks like should be really good fishing. I'm gonna wait till he gets down there, and then when I get on. Robert stopped already. He's down in slack water. That slack water looks fantastic. It's just so much fun. All right, here we go.
Oh, that was close. I thought I was going to get him up there. I'm trying to avoid those rocks you get hung up on. Come on. Come on, get away from that rock. I'm trying to stay away from that rock. Come on. Of course, it pulls me right to the rock. There we go. Look oh, that slot water looks fantastic. Come on. Oh, that was a close call. Oh, it's too close for comfort. I guarantee you the bottom's all scratched up. I should probably get a keel guard. There we go. Now we get back to fishing, baby. Got one on. That was like a nice one, dude. It's pulling pretty good. That's a decent one. There we go, fishing one. There we go. That feels like a good one too. Come on, baby. That must be the current that makes them feel so big. That's a sunfish. Oh, look at the beautiful colors on this fish. That's a healthy looking fish. Come on. Get unhooked. There we go. Look at that. Thanks for the fight, buddy. I'm surprised we didn't catch more of that section, though. Yeah, you're right. If we would have fished it slower, maybe. There you go. Now you got one on. Yeah, I mean, all those rocks in there. That's where they hide behind those rocks. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I just caught one right in front of your raft. <laughs> That's a wow. He popped off. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I was trying to get my line in before you went over my line and the fish grabbed it. There you go. Alright, nice. That looks like a decent one. Oh, yeah! Looks like a real nice one. Well, that one's really pulling, dude. That must be a nice one. Must just be the rapids of the current that. Really? Well, that's nice. I'd take that all day long. It's probably what, pushing 12 inches, maybe. I take it. Oh, more rapids. I like the slack current here, man. That's where they're at, they're at, especially the bigger ones. There we go. I've seen them hit it. Fish on. I watched them hit it. <laughs> that was so cool. Get in the kayak. Before I hit these rapids. I gotta get them off before I hit these rapids. That's a decent one. Oh, stop. Man, these slippers all get out. Stop. I'll try to unhook you. Of course you can freaking do that right before the rapids too. Fish, you might be going for a ride. I can't get you out, you're going for a ride. Get out of my boat. There we go, fish one. Stay on baby. Oh, that's a nice one too. Stay pegged baby. There we go, finally got a decent one on. Come on man, stay on. That's a decent one. Is that a fall fish? Oh, it's a decent fall fish. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey, Justin. I just tied your record. That feels like a 15. I don't think that's a 15 incher. We're going to find out. Woohoo. That's a nice fish. Oh, he's 14. Justin, you beat me by one inch. He's 14 inches. Dude, check that out. 14 inch fall fish. These fish are so much fun to catch, man. Look at this, beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Bloopers video. Oh well. <laughs> I tried to do a general release. Didn't work too well. I go over here. I gotta wait for Robert. I guess Robert's way behind. I'm gonna go over here and uh, get out and do a little wade fishing while Robert catches up. I'm gonna catch some fish. Oh, water strider. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Hey, kayak. Don't you dare float down the river. You need to stay over here in the shallow while we wait for Robert. Get back over here. Boy, 
all right let's go catch some fish stay there kayak be a good little doggy <laughs> I gotta name that kayak fish on there we go <laughs> that's so cool Did you? That fall fish gave me such an awesome fight, man. That was so much fun to catch. I went to gently release them, they slipped out of my hand. They're, they're slippery. Yeah, they are. They get a good fight. There we go, fish on, back to back cast. Good deal. I think my drag is a little too loose. Oh, that's a decent one. Ooh, did you see that? That was cool. Where's Rod? I don't even see. Oh, he's only back there. Dude, that's a decent smallmouth. I'll take him. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. Check that one out. Oh, a good hook set, right? Ooh, ouch. Boy, that guy gave me a good fight. Hey, how are you? Catch and release. It's like they're stacked right over there behind that tree. I just pulled three of them out of there. And one got off, I landed the other two. I said I landed two of them, but the one got off. <laughs> I knew there'd be more over there. Found a honey hole. Oh, there you go, fish on. Oh, it came off. <laughs> we should wait for Robert more often and find the honey holes that way. <laughs> oh, fish on! Oh, nice! That feels like a good... Oh, yeah! That was cool! That was a decent one. What do you get, just a smallmouth? We got another decent one on. Well, that guy gave me a good fight, too. Yeah, I love the way they fight in that current. Yeah. Feels like they have a giant on. <laughs> Robert, get out there and get stuck again. <laughs> this is how Justin and I find the honey holes. <laughs> what was that with uh? Chris Farley and David Spade, big guy in a little suit. Remember that? Yeah. That Tommy boy. Yeah. Big guy, little suit. <laughs> that was hilarious. Big guy, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Dude, that's a sweet honey hole right there, man. You're a trip. You're a trip, man. <laughs> fish on! Oh, yeah, yeah, fish on! <laughs> oh, this is so much fun, dude. Dude, however's idea this was, you had a great idea. <laughs> Dude, this is a blast. Awesome. 
So this water feels so good for river water, man. It's probably just, just we, like, it's not cold and it's not warm, it's like just right. Yeah, it does. I told you you have a piece of this white rope if you want it. You want it now? How long of a piece do you think you need? Well, I don't know. This is, I mean, you can really cut some off. This is like my emergency backup rope, but you can cut some off. No, 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 no. You, you do, there's plenty here. It's probably like 100 feet here, so you can really cut <laughs> some. I know there's at least 50 feet here. Here. Cut off a decent yeah, amount you think you'll need. I got more at home too, Robert. So you know what? No, no, I don't need it all. Jeez, that'd be fun. I'm saying it's at least 50 feet, if not 100. Be long enough. Well, you t tie it up a while, and you let me know how long of a rope you need. Yeah, that's good, right? Like this. Then I'll tie it around my. Like this. Alright, tell me where you want me to cut it at. Right here, this should be good. Alright, yeah. can you hold on my kayak, please? Nope. Thanks. <laughs> Alright. Hold on a second. That way, if I want to get out, get tied to a tree. Yeah, exactly. Right here? Yeah, that's good. There we go. It's starting to cut. There you go. Wait, this current's really strong. Man. It is. You can really feel it's it. In the if, I, if I would flip out. This is why I'm fl floating faster than you guys. You're yeah. good. I got it. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I got plenty of rope left, too. So. Justin, you want any rope? All right. I brought these other lures with. I was going to try all kinds of stuff, but I think I'm just going to stick with a net rig. It's like all you need, man. Yeah. Just bring a bunch of net rigs, you're good to go. Yeah, I'll say. Yeah, I'm Why didn't we discover this lure years ago? I caught quite a few on that white one, man. Yeah, I've been for a while now. Man, I'm, just, I'm impressed by it. I didn't think it would be that good of a lure, but it's, it's really... I thought it was one of those lures like over height. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> it lives up to the height. Really? Is that that worm you were showing me? Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's all kinds of YouTube videos about it. I think these guys are so hyped in this video, but no, they're not. Yeah, there's always something new out there. Yeah, see, so you now I can just... There you go, that was good thinking. Oh, there's a creek right there. I bet there's a fish right there with that Ooh, yeah, 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 there we go, come on. There's gotta be a fish right there. A good place for a trout to hang out. The creek feeding the river right there. How did nothing come out of there? That'd be a perfect place for a smallmouth and a rain or a rainbow trout, a brook trout, brown trout. Perfect spot for them to hide. Right at the mouth of that creek. Come on. Yeah, I told you there'd be one in there. I knew there had to be a fish in there. There's always gotta be a fish in the mouth of a creek. There we go. What is it? Smallmouth. I'll take them. Get them off my kite before I get to those rapids. I missed the fishing line the first time. I was hoping it'd be something bigger than that, but I don't care. I'm glad. Thanks for the fight, buddy. I knew there had to be a fish in there. Small mouth. Ooh. Rapids are coming up. I gotta get to these rapids first. I gotta get away from that rock. Charles <laughs> Rapid trying to catch his fish. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a nice one, dude. See, that one jumped. That's a nice one. I saw, you know what I thought when I first saw it? I thought someone painted a rock yellow, let you know the rock was there. Yeah. I got close, I thought, oh, that's a raft on an inner tube. Yeah. You're not ruining his fish and play. Hey, no, please get in front of him. He's catching all my fish, so block him for me. <laughs> He's the one catching all the fish. It ain't fair. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to go that far, Justin. Oops. <laughs> Guess the fun I thought I was gonna. Fish on. Hey, I caught your fish, though. Ah, it paid off after all. <laughs> yeah, with Jeremy Wade, that's a good show. Should we go in front of the 
Oh, just go. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Just go. Whatever, whatever you want to go is fine. Okay, we're not going to hit you. Uh, no, take your time. No, no, you're all right. You're good. I want you to block him, not us. <laughs> Fish one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, right near the kayak, too. A little dinker. Ow! Feisty little guy. Oh, come on, fish. Hit it. Hit it. I'm getting hit, so not hooking up. Is he on? I think I got one on. There we go. Fish one. There we go. He was swimming towards me, I think. I could tell if he was on or not. Oh, he spit the hook right at the kayak. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. Oh, I should cast out in the middle. Keep getting hung up on the left side. I think it's too shallow over there. Yeah, see, there's a fish right out in the middle. Right in the middle of the river, man. Now they're out in the middle. Yeah. Ooh, nice sunfish. Oh, he popped off. I want to reach to grab him, he popped off. And there's a fish out in the middle, though. That's for sure. There we go. Fish on. Oh, he popped off. I keep short striking. There we go. He came back for it. Oh, he came off again. Why are they short striking it now? I don't know. He short struck that one. I don't know why. Must have been a bluegill or something. Oh, so they hit the water, he hit it. Nice. Good deal. Stay pegged, baby. Try to like it's still too loose. Oh, he felt bigger than that because of the rapids. I'll take him. Fish is a fish. Come on, don't poke me. I hate when they poke you. I already got poked once today. Ow, he poked me too. That's twice today I got poked. Those little ones are the ones that get you. Will you stop? Get out of here. Oh, 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 I see that rock. I want to hit that one. There I go. Over away from that rock. Whew. That's a nasty one. So is that one. Oh. Whew, got lucky on that one. Steer, steer, steer. Whew, that was a close, close call on that one. I seen him hit it. Boom, got him. I seen him hit it. That was freaking awesome. About time. I knew it was freaking fishing here. So I usually wade fish this. I usually catch fish out of here left and right. Some nice ones too. He's a little, he's a decent little small mouth. Of course he's gonna freaking poke me probably. I'm trying to grab him so he won't poke me. Ow, see I knew he was gonna freaking poke me. Freaking fish, piss me off. I hate when I freaking do that. Stop. Dude, fish, you're going for a freaking ride. Freaking piss me off. That's gotta be one in there, you would think. How did a fish not come out of there? There we go. I was gonna say there had to be a fish in there. There we go, fishing one. Oh, that's a good one too. Freaking rudder is pissing me off, you piece of shit, freaking rudder. This rudder's gonna take me right into this freaking tree. Turn. Freaking rudder. This rudder's a piece of shit. Freaking rudder. I'm gonna go right in this freaking tree. I just freaking know it. I gotta get out of this freaking tree before I can land this fish. Piece of shit. Freaking rudder. I knew it was gonna freaking happen. Freaking real, man. You clean this water supposed to be so good, this water's a piece of shit as far as I'm concerned. Freaking junk. Alright, that's a decent small mouth. 
Alright, we're gonna see what he measures. I don't think he's big, but he might measure half decent. He's 11 inches. I'll take him. 11 inch smallmouth, catch and release. Fish is a fish. I knew it had to be one in that shade. Those smallmouth love being in the shade for some reason. I think it gives them better camouflage. They can hide better. Cooler water too. Smallmouth like clear, cool water. I got one chasing it. Come on, that's a nice one too. I just had a real nice one chasing it and he didn't commit to biting it. He was probably about 12 inches. He wasn't huge, but he was a nice 12 incher. I don't know if the video camera caught him or not. That was a nice one. Chased almost to the kayak and then turned around. He came out of the shade too. I don't know why, man. They're hiding in that shade. Right after that bridge, I gotta get out. We're at our destination. That float trip felt like it went way too fast, man. That was fun. An absolute blast. Man, I had fun. Three hours seems like it was only like one hour. Look at another one chasing it. Look, look, look at that big one. There's three, four, four of them are chasing it. Why aren't they committing to bite? They're chasing it, but they ain't biting it. What's going on here? Why aren't they biting now all of a sudden? It's getting too hot for them? Somebody already fished this? Like, why aren't they biting? I just watched four of them chase it to the kayak. But they, they not one of them would bite it. What the heck's going on? There we go. There we go. Finally. At least one finally bit. Dinker, but I'll take them. The little ones, the ones always poke you the most. They don't know how to stay calm. See? You know what? Fish are going to go for a ride real soon. You don't freaking call your horses or whatever you call them. Where are you going for a ride? What's that? I know. Fishing was great until we got to this section and it just stopped. I, I, I had four, follow, I watched four of them at the same time fall to kayak but wouldn't bite it. I had one on that got off. I had another one chase it and I landed a little dink. That, that float trip went way too fast. It's like I want to do another three, three to six hours, man. I didn't even look to see what time it is. Heck yeah. Way too fast. I felt like it was only an hour. Yeah. We, we could have stopped more, but. Yeah, I just didn't know what time. I was like, no. Yeah. I know, I didn't either. If, if we would have had more time on our hands, I would have stopped more. Yeah. But the water's really warm in the sun and the shade. It's a little chilly. Yeah. Like you feel it, you can feel the temperature difference. Yeah. Let me check the time real quick. Dude, it's only 2.30. Yeah. Just another trip real quick. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I wish. I know.